Hello students, welcome in today's session. I am Professor Fayyaz Kavadi from Department of Mechanical Engineering with continuation with previous module. This is our module number 1.6, Velocity Relationship. In this session, we are going to discuss what are the different type of velocities in orthogonal cutting and what is the relationship between them. From unit number one, theory of metal cutting from manufacturing process to subject. So let us start. First one in uh, the figure is in front of you, in which tool is cutting the workpiece material, and that workpiece material is moving in form of chip. So in this, the first velocity is the first velocity is V C. V C V suffix C, that is cutting velocity or velocity of tool with respect to workpiece. Vc is the velocity of tool with respect to workpiece. Second one, Vf, that is flow velocity of chip with respect to tool. Vf, flow velocity of chip with respect to tool. And third one is a Vs, whereas Vs is shear velocity or velocity of displacement of chip along the shear plane with respect to workpiece. So these three velocities is working in orthogonal cutting. The tool is moving from a right towards the left for cutting the workpiece. So the direction of VC is from right to left. This velocity component I am showing here in a red color. VC is cutting velocity moving from right to left. Second one is flow velocity, velocity of chip with respect to tool, which is moving in upward direction as chip is moving in upward direction on the face of the tool. So VF is moving in upward direction. And third one is a shear velocity, which is shown here in green color, VS, again, it is moving in upward direction. So these three velocity component is forming the three sides of triangle. Three sides of triangle. In the above three velocities, that is VC, VF and VS. Generally, VC is always known. That is, velocity of tool is always known. And this you can measure by some measuring instrument. Hence, for calculating other two velocities, following method is used and what is that method let us see these three velocity components form the three sides of the triangle triangle a b o a b o and in that i draw one construction line line perpendicular to that triangle of, uh, of that side a b to form two different triangle right angle triangle why I'm going to find the other two angles of the triangle? Because one angle that is shear plane angle we know, which is formed by Vs and Vc. Okay, this phi is a shear plane angle formed by Vs and Vc. But other two angles we have to find out. So I draw this construction line to find the other two angles. So in this first angle, this angle will be alpha. How? This angle will be alpha, which is a wake angle of tool. So opposite angle will become again alpha. So this angle will be alpha and the remaining third angle from this right angle triangle, this angle will be 90 degree. So this remaining third angle will become here 90 minus alpha. So addition of these three angles will be 180. Okay. And the second and uh, right angle triangle is formed here due to this construction line is uh, this angle will be shear plane angle phi. This angle will be 90. So a remaining third angle will become again here 90 minus phi. So in this triangle, this angle will be phi. This angle will be 90 minus alpha. And this third angle will become here. Addition of these two angles will be 90 minus phi plus alpha. 90 minus phi plus alpha. Is that clear to all of you? So come to the next step. You know 
uh, if you know the three uh, angles and the velocity components uh, so by using the sign rule in the triangle oab we can write as vf vf divided by sin of opposite angle that is sin phi is equal to vc divided by sin of opposite angle to so sin of 90 minus 5 plus alpha is equal to vs divided by sin of opposite angle sin 90 minus alpha so this you learn in trigonometry sin rule okay now in next step this sin 90 minus alpha i will write in terms of cos sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta so this term will become sin 90 minus alpha is equal to cos alpha and this again sin 90 minus in bracket this all term 90 minus theta will be cos theta so this complete term i will take into bracket so 90 minus in bracket phi minus alpha this phi minus alpha i will put in bracket so 90 minus this term will become cos of this term so in next step i will write here vf divided by sin phi is equal to vc divided by cos phi minus alpha is equal to vs divided by cos alpha cos alpha so student you have to remember that equation for solving the numericals in further lecture okay you have to remember so and instead of by heart that equation if you remember that figure you can easily write down this equation if you by heart that equation there may be chance of um uh, writing uh, that equation with mistake so don't by heart that equation just remember that figure you can write down that equation by using sign rule okay now what i do in next step i will consider these first two terms okay vf divided by sin phi is equal to vc divided by cos phi minus alpha what i do here that sign i will move to right side why vf is equal to vc sin phi divided by cos phi minus alpha and student i think you remember what is that sin phi divided by cos phi minus alpha sin phi divided by cos phi minus alpha what is this if you remember i will show you in previous session we have already discussed sin phi divided by cos phi minus alpha what is that that is equal to t1 divided by t2 and what is that t1 divided by t2 that is chief thickness ratio and denoted by alphabet r that step we have already discussed in previous module so by putting the value of sin phi divided by cos phi minus alpha as r as r i will put here sin phi divided by cos phi minus alpha as r this equation will become vf is equal to vc into r that is chip thickness ratio vf is equal to vc into r so this will be final equation and that you have to remember for solving the numericals here these two equations you have to remember so these are the velocity relationship uh, of vf vc and vs so at the end of this session the student can understood uh, on the different velocities and what is the relationship between that three velocities that is vf vc and vs that is shear velocity thank you for watching this video